What's this? This is an AVI file. Can't open it in Sony Vegas Pro 12. Blasphemy. Why won't it open AVI files? Well, as you can see, the codec is installed, but uh, we're actually not going to install any sort of codecs as uh, installing codec packs actually can be harmful and will bring less performance to your system as codex packs usually include a lot of codecs which cause compatibility and uh, all sorts of other issues where they may uh, you know not be compatible with whatever replace the default windows codex so first thing we need is two pieces of software media info let's go ahead and download it and the other one we're going to need is avi dmux if you're running windows 64 git get the 64 bit so you're probably wondering to yourself uh, so what are we going to do to actually open this avi file in sony vegas well, we're not going to actually open it directly. We're just going to uh, convert it to another video format, but we're not going to re-encode it. We're just going to take the video and audio out of the AVI container, which is just that AVI is a container, sort of like a container for storing food in your fridge. That's, it, that's like the best parallel I could come up to. We're going to move it from the vegetable, like humidity controlled drawer into like the fruit controlled humidity door. And so it's like taking the fruits and vegetables out and just moving it into another container. So first thing we're going to do is find out a little bit information about your AVI file. So that's what media info is for. We're going to download this, do the custom install, don't install Angry Birds or who knows what else. And just click next, next, and wait for this to install, click finish. And then we're also going to install AVI DMUX and smart screen may kind of freak out. So just run it. So we're going to wait for this to install, click yes, unpack the data, accept the user admin rights, I agree, add it, make sure it's a uh, full install because we need AVI synth installed. If you do uh, the standard, it takes away some of the command line features and AVI synth, but we need all of it. And note, this is not too hard, it's just, uh, takes a little bit, it's uh, learning curve basically and uh, so what we're gonna do is first things first is we have to find out what the heck our AVI, AVI file contains like here's the video file and I know I can't open it in Sony Vegas but uh, we need to convert it to something that can be opened in Sony Vegas so go under your start screen or start menu if you're running Windows 7 and below hit media info and just drag and drop the video file or click file open and go to view, make sure you select tree. So then we get all the information. Now this may be a little bit of overwhelming to people who sort of look at this and just like, what is all this? And realistically, we're only interested in like three or four key things. Under general, it'll say format, AVI. And so we already knew it was an AVI file from the AVI extension in the file name. And then go under video, and you're gonna look at two things. The format, it says AVC which should give you a little hint. And then the codec is H.264. So, ah, we all know what H.264 is. It's used on the internet everywhere for encoding videos. So we're using a standard codec, great. So then we have to scroll down and look at the audio also because this is PCM. Now PCM is basically raw audio, sort of bit by bit. Uh, if you don't know what that means, just ignore it. But we have to convert it to another codec. So. The audio is still going to be there, we just need to convert it from, say we're taking a tomato and we're going to make it a raspberry or something else, make it an apple. So, but the video can stay whatever it is. So after installing AVI DMUX, all we're going to do is go ahead and open it and we all, all we have to do is uh, import our video. So just go ahead and drag and drop or you can use file open or that button right there which is also open. Now. Uh, since our video is already in H.264, all we need to do is copy it. And then our audio, all it has to be done is change to AAC, which is a uh, different audio format other than PCM, which is basically raw audio. So uh, now all that's left to do is select the output uh, container, basically. And we want to make an MP4. It's uh, easily openable by Sony Vegas Pro and any other program. So 
after we select MP4, all you have to do is go ahead and click save. And then we're gonna have to name it. So uh, as soon as this uh, screen loads, we're just gonna save it as uh, converted. Because it's just been converted and we're gonna let this run through. Now, it's gonna go through insanely fast because all we're doing is moving the video from uh, like one cup and we're putting it in another cup essentially is it's just a container we're just moving containers the only thing that's being done is the audio is actually being converted to a different codec other than you know raw audio so uh, once this is done I'll show you you can import it in Sony Vegas and it'll open up perfectly fine so including audio sometimes uh, Sony Vegas doesn't like audio in other uh, form in other containers so like uh, the MPEG TS and PS may not provide audio if you just uh, convert it and uh, but it'll play in media players but Sony Vegas won't pick up the audio so you save the audio as a different file but we don't do that we don't need to do that because we just saved it as an uh, mp4 file go ahead open it with Sony Vegas and I'll play it for a few seconds to show you that it works uh, yes I'll set my video to 720p and let me go, let me wait for it to build the audio peaks. We should not take that long. And all we're gonna do now is click play from start as soon as it's done. Notice I have start because the thing's right there. So yeah. you should hopefully hear that and I'm gonna stop it right now. And so you can see we could uh, now successfully import it into Sony Vegas and it actually didn't take that long. We didn't have to encode it in a different format. We just copied it over to a different container and encoded the audio and also if I open this mp4 file yeah I'm gonna pause it you can see it plays perfectly fine in Windows uh, this is running Windows 8 it'll run perfectly fine in Windows 7 with Windows Media Player as a matter of fact I could probably show you guys that as well in case you're interested let's open it up with Windows Media Player And there you go it runs perfectly smooth yeah so that's all you had to do not a hard step-by-step -step process install one program and uh, I'll make a second video which will actually install a specific codec for opening AVI h.264 encoded videos into Vegas Pro although it's not a codec pack it's one single codec and that's for our next video and uh, this is all for now, and please like and subscribe and leave any comments down below, and let me know what you guys thought. Thank you for watching, and bye.